Hi everybody, Steve Adams from New England Sauce here. We're going to continue our 660 build and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the ignition module installation. Um, so we need to just take our piston stop tool out if you have it in because you'll need to basically rotate the flywheel to where it's top dead center. And you're going to need M5 by 20 millimeter bolts. Two of those. That's these guys. Just throw a little extra Loctite on these. Right, we got them on the table. And you're going to need your ignition module. And I'm not going to lie, this is uh, one of the steps where there is a special tool, but I go kind of low tech. And I just use um, a piece of card stock. This is from one of our service cards, and it's exactly the right thickness for the flywheel spacing. So here's your uh, ignition coil and um, there's this little boot on the back. You want to go ahead and push that all the way down to there. And um, then you're going to just find it's easier if I tilt the saw on the side here a little bit. Um, you just go ahead and bolt this down onto here and you have to make this connection this is the black lead it goes onto the coil here okay, and it shouldn't come off and that's going to get tucked back here and actually what we'll do is go ahead and make those wires go behind the spark plug and then this red wire is going to come over and get um, hooked up right here and this is for the kill switch, these two wires. So we're just going to go ahead and set this down in here. And run these screws down just so they're started. To kind of hold everything in place while you route the wires. Okay, that's one. So what we're going to do first is we're going to route these little wires back here for the kill switch. And you shouldn't have any interference issues like I seem to be having right now. There we go. Okay, cool. So yeah, so this is going to come back, sneak behind the actual spark plug wire. And you can always push them through further here. And then just gently, with a screwdriver, you can feed them into the, the wire clip. And that just stops the wires from moving once it's in all the way. Alright, cool. So those are in the right spot now. Okay, you just want to make sure this spark plug boot is free to come up here. We can just put that in there for now. Okay, so that's kind of how it looks. And um, what we're going to do, this is kind of the weird part, is you're going to rotate. There's two magnets in this flywheel. So you're going to stick your card down in between the gap between the, the outside diameter here of the flywheel and where these two contacts are. So you're just going to make your card into like a little curve there. And then go ahead and rotate your flywheel so that these two magnet pieces that are in there go to the corresponding two points on the coil. Okay, and then you want to basically get that pushed all the way flush against so that the card just slips in and out there. If you have too big a gap then you will not have a good spark and it won't be at the right time. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down. And I do these by hand because when you do this first one with the eyelet on it, you can kind of mess it up a little. So, you have to just be careful, I'll show you. So 
So when you go to tighten this down and torque it, you want to make sure that you use your finger and hold this right here. And then as you tighten it down, you don't want that to spin too much. And then you should be able to torque it. If you don't do that, I found that you can basically spin this all the way around and it'll break right there and you're in a bit of a trouble. So I just torque this one first. And then go back and torque this one. There you go, perfect. You see how it rotated while I was doing that. Okay, that's it. And then this guy will go up here. And then out comes the card. And you got your gap set for your flywheel. Next, we'll uh, go ahead and put the starter cover on there.